street in the bitch. A R T. Uh. Oh Lord. And what he say? I heard daily got the bomb bag. And what she say? I heard daily got the bomb bag. And what they say? I heard daily got the bomb bag. Uh. Oh Lord. One verse and I'm out. A R T. I don't f with the time much. Okay, so we're really loving the way these look and feel right about now. Just next step is to um, turn this into a feet Italian, eat Italian. So we're about to step out now and head down to Spaghetti House and see what's good in the menu. Yo, it's Theodore Dell's ho. Please say the ho. And you already know. I'm about to give you another episode of Feet Italian, Eat Italian. You know, we just had a look at the Concepts Theodora N9000. Concepts pack, beautiful shoe, made in Italy of course. So now we're about to go indulge in some delicious Italian cuisine at my Italian local spaghetti house, you feel me? The next time you see me, we're gonna be pulling up in spaghetti house, keeping it very funky, you feel me? Oh yeah, oh Lord. So we're here, we've arrived at the spot on the corner, Argyle Street. Most banging this Italian spot in central London. Spaghetti house, 60 years of love and pasta. Famous for their pasta, 55 years deep. You yeah, smell me? Come we go. Ah, long time, my brother. Good, good, yeah, man. Table for one? Please, bro. Thank you. Always beautiful, polite service up in the spaghetti house, you know. Yeah, I tell you, I'm gonna do um, the majority of these feet Italian, eat Italian up in spaghetti house. But that's the local, you know, like that. That's why I'm dead to Odell's hope. Because um, I'm, my problem is I like loyalty too much. Brand loyalty. You know, loyalty in general. You like somewhere, they got good food, a good rapport, that nice family environment, you know. You don't change from that. You just keep enjoying and enjoying and bringing your friends and bringing your family and bringing your loved ones to share in that experience, you know, like that. But I'm about to get my order on. The risottino ai fungi. I think I'm gonna mess with that for a start. Huh? This a la carte menu is crazy. During a week special, just oh yeah, oh, you don't keep killing me. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this. Casarecce Amatriciana di Mare. That's what I normally mess with without the panacetta because that is poke and you know I don't eat no poke. But what's he gonna done? He's come and hit me with a bloody weekday special. What is this menu now? Zucchini fritti. Oh my gosh. Killing me. Two courses. Oh my gosh. Now I need more than this. I need more than this menu. Okay, the starters have come in, and right here we got a risottino. I fungi. Looks banging. About to beat that up. And also a portion of zucchini fritti. Because you know what we do, we get two meals, so we got two starters at once. I'm going to let you know what this is all saying as I get involved. The smells delicious and rich. These courgettes look so crispy and delicious too. Great presentation. About to get in. Uh, yeah. Okay. So halfway through this risottini or risottino. I mean, this shit's creamy, delicious. It's the taste of the fresh mushrooms coming through, that creamy sauce. The rice is well boiled, um, not too mushy, not too hard. But this is deliciously banging. Over here we got the zucchini fritti, deep fried courgette pieces. That batter is just delicious, it's just so fluffy, it's almost like a tempura batter. But, mm. Mm -mm -mm. And the vegetable inside is just still alive and juicy. It's not oily and soggy from oil. It's the actual 
courgette juice that I get to taste. Delicious. Mm. Well, it's gonna cream up this starter and wait for those mains. You know, we've got to get the Chianti and Lordy, Lordy. Okay, so the main courses, yes, the main courses have just came in. So this is a Casaracci Amatriciana del Mare. And um, basically, Casaracci is the pasta. See the calamari, the Shetland mussels, and um, you know, clams, all types of good stuff inside there, king prawns. This is my regular dish that I come and eat at Spaghetti House. This is the everyday. I have mine without the bacon, but it's actually the bacon and the onions in the sauce that makes it Amatriciana. So I kind of have like a fake Amatriciana. Casaracci del mare. So basically, it's uh, you know Casaracci pasta and with seafood. You know, um, I also had to get me a penne salmon arabata. You feel me? Um, yeah, because we got to beat up too. I mean, there's too much dope food on this menu to review. If I was to try and review it one at a time, it'd be crazy, and I'd be here for all year. Even I'm gonna be here all year. I ain't trying to be having cameras out on my food. I'm trying to just enjoy and eat without having to talk to you lot about it. But the Chianti complements it, that dark red, full-bodied. Mmm, the beautiful aroma and taste, mmm. Delicious. Well, let me get into these halfway through. I'm gonna let you know what they're saying and I'm gonna keep it fully funky because you know, feet Italian, eat Italian. Oh, look. Well, well, well. Once again, Amitriciana doesn't fail to impress. Casarache del Mare, Amitriciana. I mean, I have mine without the bacon, so you can't really call it Amitriciana. But it is definitely Casarache um, del Mare, you feel me, which is the type of pasta with seafood. And I mean, it bumps, the sauce bumps, you see this, all this good sauce right here, mm, the way that bumps. Yeah, I'm going to leave that on the spoon, I'm going to clap that sauce, I stopped filming. The arabata, penne al salmon, banging. I mean, the way they pieced up the salmon like it was corned beef, or tuna, with the um, parmesan, fresh parmesan cheese, grated over the top. I mean, these servings are so filling. I'm just really more worried about how I'm gonna finish both of these off right now. Succulent sauces, prawns, clams, mussels, calamari. Perfect pasta. I mean, like, not too hard, not too soft, just right, just delicious. Shouts out to the kitchen staff. The hint of chili in there is just amazing, you know, like people underestimate the importance of pepper and spice in meals and one time for the Italians because they do not. They definitely use that chili, they definitely use that spice to bring out the flavor of all of that seafood and it works. God knows it works. But I'm about to get back into these meals, cream them off and try to beat the uh, rush hour on the tube. Oh yeah, oh lord. Um, spaghetti house once again has been crazy. I hope you lot have enjoyed the food with me. At least to see how delicious it looks and take my word on how delicious it tastes. You feel me? We're going to be back again because they got a lot more stuff on this menu and I think I'm going to try and eat two main courses at the same time again. But I mean, yo, they got so much on the menu that's delicious. Now we're gonna have to try it all. But this is ART. Deodora Dells. With another episode of Feet Italian, Eat Italian. It's Deodora Dells, ho. Please say the ho. Oh, look. Yo, so we just left Spaghetti House, and that was delicious. I mean, whenever I leave Spaghetti House, I'm always smiling and shaking my head as to how 
delicious that shit was. The way I can still taste it on my tongue. Let's just hope that the tube ain't packed. Otherwise, we're gonna have to ride a bus home. And that's gonna be about some bullshit. But it's Theodore Dell's hoe. Please say the hoe and chill to the next episode. Oh, Lord. Daily got the bomb bag, and what she said, I heard daily got the bomb bag.